Well, hello, folks. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Calling. Here, we're here getting into the Christmas season. It's a uh, it's a Wednesday night. Uh, you know, another long day today, and uh, you know, a long week. And uh, you know, I thought I would. I got an interesting request from from James, um, and he was asking um, for me to do a comparison on on the Boulder whiskeys that I have. So um, I've got two in stock right now in the collection. So I thought I'd. Do that for him. It sounds like a really interesting idea. Thanks, James, for the idea. And uh, so, yeah, what I've got here is a uh, the first one is is just their straight bourbon. So uh, this is kind of their their regular bourbon here. Uh, I believe it's forty two percent. And yeah, we're going to see what see what this one uh, tastes like in comparison to uh, to the one that's um, aged in X sherry casks. Uh, this one's 47%, so a little bit of a difference there in uh, alcohol percentage. Uh, but really, I think it looks like on the back, uh, it, it sort of talks about the, kind of the, a little bit of the mash bill here. And I think it says that, uh, sorry, the, re the, re the rating's really small here. I'm just going to have to read it quickly. 51% uh, corn, 44% uh, malted barley, and 5% 5, 5 rye. And it, it looks like just the way that they kind of... Um, um, aging near the end is the difference between these two, and obviously the uh, the, the alcohol percentage as well. Um, so, anyways, uh, folks, I hope you got to jam yourselves uh, ready to go, or you know, a bourbon. Uh, if you've got a boulder, I know there's some other different boulders. Uh, I've tried. If, um, I'm trying to remember the other. I tried one other kind. I'm trying to remember now, off the top of my head. Uh, darn. I, I think if there's a port cast finish, I've tried. I think I've also tried one of their peated. Uh, versions as well, if, if I'm recalling correctly. So too bad I didn't have all four at the same time, but, uh, but these are only other, the only two I've got now. So let's. Uh, I'm going to pour each of them here, and we're going to we're going to see what, what what they're like here. So just near the end of this bottle. So so we're killing that one at this point. I'm just going to pour the other one here real quick. I hope you folks are having a good uh, lead up to the holiday season. The weather here has been frightfully snowy, as you can probably see out the window here. But uh, you put out some Christmas lights just to sort of uh, try to make it feel warmer or something. <laughs> anyways, so anyways, I'll, I'll kind of smell each of these and tell you what I think on the nose for both of them. So this is the straight bourbon. Yeah, kind of just a nice, rich, um, uh, you know, almost a light brown sugar going on. Yeah, if you were to take some brown sugar, maybe mix some graham crackers and, this, and put a little honey on top. I mean, that's basically what I'm smelling. Nice smell, really nice smell. Uh, you know, as I smell a little bit the second time here, a little bit of a, a, a pepper, um, you know, and maybe also a little bit of a, yeah, kind of, kind of a pepper honey. Um, uh, let's uh, let's see what this other one smells like. The, the, the sherry cask. Hmm. Yeah, this one, you know, maybe just a little bit more of a. Uh, you smell the alcohol a little bit more. It's a higher percentage. Uh, a little bit more of a push there. But a lot of the same notes. This one's, got, you know, I gotta say, a little more of a leathery, a leathery, deeper, richer, a little more oaky uh, to me at this moment. So yeah, yeah, a little more woodsy, so to speak, leathery. Um, but yeah, yeah, both really nice uh, smells to them. Um, let's uh, let's see what they taste like, folks. On the straight bourbon, I'm getting kind of a, almost a plasticky in a good way. Uh, you know, you, you, might, you know, I was talking about smelling the leather in the, in the sherry one. This one's almost like, um, you know, pleather. Uh, it's got a slightly different smell to it than leather. Uh, this is more of a pleathery texture and, and taste at the beginning. But then I definitely feel some, uh, uh, a kick about two thirds, three quarters in, a nice spicy alcohol kick. 
a little bit of that peppery coming out, a little pepperiness. A nice relaxing finish. Uh, it's, a, it's a moderate length finish, but it's a bit of a lighter finish. Um, yeah, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to take one more sip to really just get that feeling. Hmm. Yeah, getting like a nice, interest, interesting, uh, rich, rich but plasticky kind of coating, um, in a really pleasant way. I mean, you, you might hear that and think, "Oh, that doesn't sound too good," but but, but it is good. Uh, you know, so I'm saying that in the best possible way. But that's kind of what I'm picking up right now from uh, from the straight bourbon. I'm trying to clean my palate here. Right now, I'm gonna, you know, yeah, let's try this other one here, the X Sherry Cask. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Rich, deep. Um, kind of a leathery cherry um you know a little more more of that uh, sweetness but to, to me you know you think some of the cherries is very sweet and, and this is just kind of got a really nice layer of um I, I guess i would say kind of that uh it's almost creating a little bit more of a leathery oaky woodsy sawdusty kind of thing going on um in a nice way like um so it's, it's quite delightful. I gotta say quite delightful. Let's have one more sip. This is still, this is absolutely delicious. You know, I, I gotta say, just just in this quick sitting here, definitely preferring the the X Sherry. Um, you know, if I recall, as I worked through this bottle, really liking this. Um, but this is just really got a got a got a very. Uh, it's more complex to me. It's a little more of a journey. There's there's just more flavor profiles through it. Um, and that extra 5% of alcohol percentage just gives it that extra punch as well. Um, the finishes, I think, is a little bit longer, a little bit hotter uh, in a good way. Um, really settles in a, in a real nice way. You know, I'll quick cleanse my palate again and just go back to this one for a second. Sometimes I like to do that in comparison. It can kind of like, you know, highlight some other differences. Yeah, like let me know in the comments below what your favorite boulder is, for example. I recall, you know, I, I recall liking all boulders I've tried. Uh, they're all really good, really nice quality, quality whiskey. Uh, there's no question about it in my mind. Hmm. Yeah, you know, this is really interesting. Going back to this one, I'm kind of getting the same thing. Just a little bit nice, uh, delicious, um, but just doesn't have quite as much character, quite, a, quite as many flavor profiles running through it. And that's holding pretty true going back and forth. I'm going to quickly go back to the X Sherry again. Yeah, I smell this one too, just kind of a, Almost like if you were to pour syrup on brown sugar, that's what I'm smelling. Mm. Wow. Yeah, everything I was saying about this before just holds true. 
if you're introducing this to kind of new people uh, who aren't used to drinking bourbon as often, this is a this is a little more subtle, uh, a little maybe easier to drink. Uh, uh, but people are looking for a little bit more of a of a kick, a little bit more of an adventure, just a touch more texture, character, etc. This X Sherry cask is excellent. You know, I, I, you can really maybe taste that extra five percent alcohol percentage as well, um, and of course, just the flavoring, uh, you know, of, of how it was aged. So, folks, I hope you're ho hope you're enjoying a dram or two as you're watching this video as well. And uh, yeah, again, James, thank you for the request. Uh, um, really appreciate it. Um, and um, hope you guys all have a great night, and we'll see you again soon, everybody.